how confluence you believe specifically applies to real estate agents. Explain to me how you think confluence relates to real estate agents. The the way that confluence relates to real estate agents is that the definition of confluence is one or more bodies of water or two or more bodies of water coming together to create something larger. And in real estate, whether you're working with buyers and sellers, whether you're working um, in a team or in a brokerage, you've got two or more realtors or people coming together to create a larger event, whether it's um, a buyer, seller, buyer's broker, realtor, um, seller's realtor coming together to create a transaction or um, a broker and um, an associate broker coming together to create an office um, in my goal with the Confluence Growth Academy is that, you know, I'm coming together with multiple realtors, whether they're on my team, not on my team, just realtors in general, coming together to create a larger community of realtors that will help everybody grow, not just um, one person here and one person there. It's coming together as a as a group to come. That's That's what Confluence means to me. And the definition, go over that definition one more time. The definition of confluence is two or more bodies of water coming together to create a larger body of water. And so, and that's the standard definition that in real estate, it, people are 90% water. So it's two or more people coming together to create something larger. Fantastic. And so what you would consider key components of the confluence principle that all agents could focus on for business growth? The key components would be that it goes back to that it takes multiple people to make a successful transaction. And so whether it's a transaction of learning, whether it's a transaction of buyers and sellers, there's multiple people coming together. So um, repeat your question. So if you had to pick out just one component, let's just say, what's the one component of the confluence principle that an agent could apply to grow their business? The one component that an agent could apply for confluence is the the community. There is multiple people um, coming together, myself and other, other realtors coming together to help each other. So it sounds like confluence... It kind of is uh, about collaboration. And so if an agent wanted to apply confluence, they could start by looking at maybe who they could collaborate with in order to make progress. Would you say that might be a fair Definitely. statement? Definitely. Collaboration makes confluence work. Can, can, can Collaboration makes confluence work. So elaborate on that. Okay, so collab- when you're collaborating with anybody, you you are coming together to create something. And when you apply confluence with that, you're not just coming together, you're building upon it. And so you're you're making it a larger, more productive activity, event, um, knowledge-based growth, anything that that you could actually need, you can get by collaborating and utilizing confluence whether you okay. need it in, in working with buyers and sellers or you need it just in, in personal growth. Um, and then can you provide an example of how Confluence has helped you as a real estate agent or personal, let's just say, just an example of how your understanding of the laws of Confluence, how has it uh, benefited you? The laws of Confluence have, have benefited me by... Um, you actually utilize the laws of confluence without even realizing it in every transaction because you've got a buyer and a seller coming together to create a, a purchase. Otherwise, you can't you can't buy a house without a seller. You can't sell a house without a buyer. And so just those two parties to coming together is confluence. Realtors add to that and make sure that the all parties are protected and um, educated. And so how it has personally helped me, I've been in real estate for 35 years and I've never done a transaction all by myself. It's always been with somebody else, whether it's another broker 
another buyer, another seller. It's always with somebody else. And so the laws of confluence apply everywhere in real estate without even realizing it. Great answer.